Uh, hello, viewers. Uh, today's topic is uh, sport and culture. You know. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. And uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. You know. And now I come to the topic: uh, sport and culture and uh, sport and analysis. You know. Well, this is a, in a lab test, you know. And, you know, sputum is a, the liquid that comes from your respiratory tract when you cough, you know. And uh, it contains the mucus, uh, bacteria, uh, cellular fragments, blood, and pus, you know. And uh, analyzing the sputum can help uh, your doctor to determine if you have any respiratory tract infection. You know. The next thing is what is the purpose of this test? Well, your doctor may use this test uh, or the results from after this test to from a sputum culture and analysis to help them to diagnose a fungal or the bacterial infection of the respiratory tract. You know. And they may order the sputum culture if you have the symptoms like uh, coughing or maybe the chills or maybe fever, you know, which is a sign of infection and the difficulty in breathing, you know, and uh, chest pain, you know, or maybe the muscle aches and uh, confusion, you know. So your doctor will uh, order this test in that uh, case, you know. And your lab technicians may find the disease causing the bacteria or the fungi in your sputum, you know. So, this can help your doctor to diagnose the cause of your symptoms, which may be like bronchitis, which may be lung abscesses, which may be tuberculosis, which may be the complications from the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is more commonly known as COPD and other infections, you know. So it's a very useful test. And the treatment plan your, do uh, your doctor prescribes will vary depending on the results and, and the diagnosis, you know. Now, you know, providing a sample uh, of the sputum is uh, it's a non-invasive which means that you don't need any uh, uh, re like uh, anything to enter your body you know, like needle etc you know so it's non-invasive you know and uh, it requires a little time like uh, uh, it can give you a, uh, your doctor a valuable information to help them to determine the cause of the respiratory infection you know and uh, this can also help to determine the appropriate treatment plan, you know, okay? And your doctor can also use the test to learn if your course of treatment for the respiratory, uh, respiratory tract is working well, you know. And uh, for some people, the bacterial respiratory inf uh, infection can cause the, uh, like, uh, serious consequences. And if you, you are already, or uh, you have, like, suppressed immune system, like uh, lung damage or uh, lung condition, you know, such as uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or maybe cystic fibrosis, it's very important to get the early diagnosis and get the proper treatment, you know. And uh, providing a sample of the sputum by coughing is very safe. There is no complication associated with this. There's no invasive kind of a, like needle or anything uh, not required, you know. And uh, uh, the coughing requires to produce a sample which might cause some discomfort you know but apart from that there is no complication associated with this uh, uh, to take the sample you know and uh, you don't need any preparation you know uh, just ask your doctor if you should uh, temporarily stop taking any medication before giving a sputum sample like antibiotics or anti-inflammatory drugs and the steroids can affect the results of the sputum culture you know and your doctor may advise you to drink plenty of water and uh, other liquids in the night before giving the sample you know it will make uh, it easier to cough up a little sample for the sputum you know and uh, you can give a sputum sample in your uh, doctor's office a lab technician uh, in the lab you know or maybe in the hospital you know and uh, in some cases your doctor may ask you to collect your specimen at home you know and after collecting the sputum sample uh, it will be sent to the lab as quickly as possible to help it stay fresh you know and you will get the best results if you provide sample first thing in the morning and, uh, and before having anything to eat or drink and this will help to 
produce a sample of the sputum from the deepest part of your chest you know and before providing the sample your doctor will ask you to rinse your mouth with the plain water you know and this helps to to clear the microorganisms from the mouth and uh, your doctor will ask you to breathe deeply and cough deeply you know so this way uh, uh, the sample will be collected you know and uh, the lab technician will then analyze your sputum under the microscope and there are uh, different methods used like uh, uh, gram strain you know or maybe sputum culture you know or maybe other methods you know and uh, your doctor will receive the results uh, from the lab you know and uh, your results may be available within a few days and the, some types of the fungi may take a week or longer to grow for the analysis you know and it's normal and uh, healthy for the sputum to have certain types of bacteria and if your results are negative or normal which means that lab didn't find any evidence of any disease which is causing the bacteria or fungi in your sperm sample you know but if your results are uh, uh, and and uh, but you know sometimes the if your symptoms persist you may have an infection due to the virus or the other microorganisms that uh, uh, were not identified in your sputum sample, you know, and some types of the organisms can be grown or identified using a sputum culture and the additional testing may be necessary, you know, and if the results are positive or abnormal, you know, which means that uh, the lab found some bacteria or the fungi which are causing those uh, symptoms, you know, and are infection, you know, and if your doctor use the results to analyze and choose the right treatment option, you know, uh, so then he will have the right treatment plan for you and it will impact on the outlook as well thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information you can visit my website www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you